And back to this episode of your Clark Stranger Hate Mail, Homosexual Hate Mail, Atheist Hate Mail. Basically, me reacting to a bunch of screen caps of comments I got from YouTube and DeviantArt, the response comments I made against the Deviant Lifestyles, and a few other things. Trigger warning, let's continue with these people trying to use science, basically. They're trying to use science to justify this lifestyle that is based on warring with science. And by trying to use science for that, they mess themselves up, you know, because they're basically saying, no, 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 see, it's, it's physical. It's actually, it's not mental, it's physical. Because I say it's not, it's not mental. It's because I say it isn't. Look at the research that that that, that is all, totally not, you know, just to kiss uh, brown nose the behinds of these people. <laughs> you know, clearly not. <laughs> you know, it totally is. And it's like, yeah, you know, look at it, look at that, you know. It's not like any person who believes they're trans uh, brain matches their body. It's not like that ever happens. It does. So, yeah, no. It doesn't work. Continue on here. Someone says, I'm, uh, I don't, I don't argue with stupidity. Stupidity where you, you basically counter every single scientific, every single thing, uh, point you have and show that you are superior in intelligence. <laughs> stupidity. Continue on here. Uh, have a good day. F head. This is the person. Oh, cause I heard that word. Someone says, you're not speaking you're not speaking truth because I say you are. Mm. Actually, you're giving a completely false information because I say it is. And advice to people you know nothing about, because I say, you know, the mm, joke, though, stop being a, a fox, sa faux savior uh, through truth, mm, you know, by telling people they learn, need to learn to live with what actually exists, you know, physically, not what they want to exist. <laughs> it does not. Mm, can you on here? And someone says, as if calling him a F head will make you look better <laughs> to somebody. <laughs> oh, cool. And someone says, I agree with you. A, agree with you. I have gender dysphoria, or so, or I think so, I think so, says the person. So tell me that is what it is. Uh, a year ago, I discovered that this SCP with the name of FCP, whatever, whatever, whatever able, resembles a lean, symmetric male. What? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Here we go. Who resembles a lean, symmetric? Semitic male, well, like Semitic, like Jewish. <laughs> Since that discovery, I constantly imagine myself as him. In fact, I think I myself as him so much I started to feel uncomfortable in my female body. Jealousy, <laughs> my gosh, jealousy. <laughs> Is this the foyer or imagination? I really need to know. It's jealousy. <laughs> you know, stop it. <laughs> no. SCP? Isn't that part of some game lore? <laughs> you know, somebody? I also don't think that the person to ask. I'm not trans, or do I have genders for you? You would probably want to talk to other people who have genders for you, such as those in this thread. You get personal insight. All I can give you now is the symptoms of genders for you and what people have told me about. Just remember that I am very unqualified. I am basically being an armchair psychologist right now. Uh, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. If you want a real professional opinion, I will go see a doctor. No, she's jealous. Mm -hmm. She's jealous, man. Mm -hmm. I'll learn to get over that stuff. Do you start imagining yourself as him only a year ago? Most of people say they felt the opposite gender since they were little. Mm, or what they think is the opposite gender. Mm, since they were little. Uh, only for it to become painfully obvious that they will set up puberty. Mm, yeah, puberty does change things. Uh, if you are around puberty age, there might be something worth looking into. However, if there's a few questions. Have you ever always wanted to be male, mm, even when you were younger? Were you uncomfortable with the female body before a year ago when you discovered this character? Does this go... Does, did going through the female puberty make you uncomfortable? These are simple questions to ask yourself. Mm. I am going out on a limb and though here though and say I don't think you have to do this for you. I think you already have a fantasization with this male character. Mm. Jealousy. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm also female, says this person. And I surely agree I admire some male characters too. I'm seventeen and still daydream about being a hero male or female. They can be both have characteristics I admire. I have been going through the phase lately where I keep thinking, man, being a girl sucks, which does suck. Mm, you know, which, whether, whether I think about these expectations of a woman, you know, the expectations, stereotypes, a woman. However, at the end of the day, I'll be fine being a woman. That's how I know I don't have gender dysphoria. Mm, yeah. A lot of people go through gender, through gender confusion, however, usually assault themselves, and it's usually from an external source that people will overcome. The other few can't overcome it because they were born like that, or not. Well, they, they don't overcome it because they choose not to. So ask yourself some of these questions, and even they look online at reputable sources of symptoms of gender for you. If you need to trust one of these sources, just ask, and I'll link some. So thanks for the help. I'll be appreciated. Like, science proves that people are different from each other, not born in the wrong body. It's for you, it's fear, and it's all the same. <laughs> you know, I see. I do want to play. Uh, let's see. Fear of what may life would be like because I look. Let me help you out here. Mm, dot, dot, dot. Read more. What the heck? Mm, mm. Uh, I say, it is fear. I was resisted. Your body is fine. Mm, mm. Someone says, the thing what hit me was, you're never going to be comfortable with skin. Well, it's for your heart's sake. Mm, you know, because you have to learn to live with it. 
I wasn't prepared to cry today, says what else. Uh, someone says, as a baby trans, so person lying, just starting to transition, lying, that's it, alright, realizing I'm trans at 23, as in equal parts, liberating and terrifying. Never thought I was free as I do now through life. Well, equally feeling more trapped than ever before. Mm, it is a strange place to be. I wouldn't change it for the world. Mm, I'm surrounded by amazing people, because comfortable skin and trans, who are, amazing, who are amazingly supportive and understanding. My husband is determined to stick out with me and it. Read more. Uh. Maybe it'll be a good chance. They are sick. Definitely have you talk to talk about. Why is it bad? I don't get to be honest, I don't get it, this person. It's bad because it means you'll never be a real man or woman uh by transitioning. Mm, no. And it'll never be treated as such. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Treatment is a huge issue with the transition. Like, so, yeah. That's wrong, it already debunks. Mm-hmm. What? Where? <laughs> uh the freak? Mm-hmm. It's wrong, it already debunks. Mm-hmm. Says somebody. Here's a link about science visualizing sex as a spectrum, which is wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, which is wrong. Yeah. Okay. So it says because you'll never know what it means like to grow up comfortable with your own body. You got to learn to live with it. Uh, comfortable skin people are treated are treated as the gender they identify since they were they were little kids. And while you can transition later on, you always these people who will hate you for existing through life. Mm-hmm. You know. I say good. It's best for you to learn that transitioning won't work now rather than later. Mm-hmm. You know. So it says. I don't know, right? I just want to trans women are, are be male and trans men are be female argument because I say I did. I did not. <laughs> Actually, I totally failed. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't say anything. <laughs> Next. Anyways, it'll work because I, uh, I say it will. When I say it will, you know, it won't. It's, it's life. Uh, you'll just never be comfortable with skin and that's okay. Mm-hmm, you know, stick with lies. Still lie though. So you're more comfortable with right now. <laughs> I say lies will never work. Only the truthful. A person with testicles will always be male. A person with always will always be female. Mm, got a like for that. So it says, by knowing the truth, I'll bet. Mm, so your truth is always debunked by scientific community. Sorry. Yeah, the scientific community, not science itself. <laughs> you know, interesting how that works. <laughs> yeah. Go. Of course, if you are FTM, then you're a real man. No, you're not. Mm, you're a female. If you're MTF, a female man wants to be a boy, go win. You're a real woman through lies. Mm, you know? mm. Just because you'll never be comfortable skin doesn't mean you're so, you know, so, you're so, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Your are big right now mm, through truth. Mm. I say, because you say so, because of science, mm, you guys, oh, hey, everyone, I found the transphobe. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you say. Trans people are valid through lies. Mm. And sometimes they're just born in the wrong body because they say they are. Mm, it's a belief system. It doesn't matter what genitals they have down there. And sometimes people even get surgery. I'll bet you're, you know, mm. bleach your own, of course. But don't think you're hating your body much isn't the same. They don't think, don't you think hating your body that much isn't the same? Click. Any of that much is the same as being gay. Just accept it. It's accept it's self hate, so people don't accuse you of delusions. Mm, you know, so somebody as a trans person, I myself do hate being in a female's body. Mm, sucks. Mm, I uh, she says I'm a male in my mind. That's impossible. And a heart. Uh, Belief system, bad belief system. And it's not self hatred because I say it isn't. I was born in the wrong body. Self hatred. Mm, yeah, let's go. Of course, it's not the same as just being a gay. Just being gay. It's complicated through lies. Mm. It's surgery. If you want to get it, won't work. Just binders, lies. Mm, you know, dangerous things. Uh, pronouns, lies. Socially and mentally adjusting through lies. It's a big thing when I'm not delusional because I say I'm not. You call it self hatred. It is. Uh, or hating your, your body, it is. But you'll never understand unless you're actually transgender yourself because I say you won't. It is self hatred. It's bad news. That's how I do that. Uh, what, what do you got? What do you got? Got a little time. Okay, good. So it says, Well, I say I understand better than the average transphobe because of myself. I used to be a man when I was younger. I didn't know about the transgender community, even that people believe they could actually be born in the wrong body, so I became very suicidal, which is really sad. I don't think it works lower for everyone. I wonder why self love or acceptance is never given as a little transition because. That would be awesome, mm, you know. <laughs> it would at least help see our future tra- detransitioners de- and transgenders away from a smaller but true community. Mm. For a way for a smaller but true community, I see people trying to convince others that they are trans for most minimal things, and this terrifies me knowing what it entails. Like I said, it's no easy process through life. Mm. I suppose the light pillars. Uh, wait, when I was younger, oh yeah. That's the name. No, 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 let's not use the name. When I was younger, I didn't know what it meant either. I guess we kind of have the same situation, but there's a problem. Children are not talking about LGBTQ. LGBTQ. Say sometimes. I'm pretty sure you're talking about social transitioning. Like, I like saw some change their appearance. It's a lie. Let's well, just want to call their pronouns without changing their appearance. So the, uh, the lie. But whatever or not, you change how you look. It's not about hating your body. It is about hating your body. It's about how you feel the inside through life. And what you think is best for you, you if someone wants surgery. Also, because I say it, 
is they're expressing themselves and how they want to be through